Hey guys, Killer Nacho again, and I have a pretty nice battle with a wild case from YouTube. I'll leave the link in the description. He's a pretty well-known battler himself. Make sure you check him out. So I'd lose my Jirachi. He leads with a um, Gliscor, and um, I'm going to go for the trick since this is a trick lead Jirachi. But um, he predicts that nicely and goes into Rotom Heat form, which is also scarfed. And um, he actually tries to set up the trick on me, but then I go in a heat ran, which is also scarf. So pretty, uh, pretty funny uh, first move. And I'm just gonna go for the fire blast because it's pretty powerful. And he goes into Vaporeon, and I'm thinking, oh crap! I'm looking at this team, and I notice two things that I probably should have noticed before the battle started. One, I have nothing to deal with this Vaporeon. And two, like nearly all of my Pokemon are choice in some way. So I should probably pay more attention when I'm building a team, um, what items I'm on. So I go into my Scizor, which is a choice bander. And I just go for the U-turn, hopefully get to get some damage on it. But he's going to do the wishing and protecting thing, so that's just really bad. I really have nothing to deal with this Vaporeon. I just kind of have to hope that I can somehow stall him out. And this is really bad because he's just doing a lot of damage to my team with Surf as I'm trying to do stuff to him. So he protects or protects to see what I do. I just set up the Stealth Rock just to set it up. And um, now I have to switch, obviously, because I don't want to set up two layers of Stealth Rock, because I can't. So he predicts my switch and goes for the Surf, but I do go into a Latias, which resists it. Um, he's going to protect to see what I do, and I go for the trick to try to trick him. That's choice backs. But um, I think he's going to switch, predicting that again, but he actually doesn't. He goes for the Surf. But um, if I would have stayed in there, it would have been pretty nice, because I would have liked to get a choice in some way. But... Um, that kind of sucks. So I decided to go for the Draco Meteor this time, just to get damage. And um, he's actually going to switch out in his Scizor to try to take the Draco Meteor. And um, I actually miss, which is not good. But, um... Yeah, I decided to go into Gyarados, since Gyarados can, you know, pretty much wall most Scizors. And he goes for a U-turn, so that tells me his uh, Scizor is probably also Choice Banded. Um... And he goes into a Jirachi, and I'm kind of fearing the Thunder Wave, or maybe even a Thunder... Um don't really match up well against Jirachi, so I decided to switch into Flygon, predicting the T-Wave. But actually, it goes for a sub, um, predicting my switch, so pretty nice prediction. I just go for the Earthquake to break the sub <coughs> and see what he's going to do to me. And he actually goes for the Flash Cannon, which is um, kind of unexpected, um, but still a pretty good move for Jirachi. And he ends up doing about half to Flygon, maybe a little less. Um, but I'm going to go for the Earthquake again, hoping to kill it, and I actually do, which is pretty nice. This is my uh, Choice Scar Flygon. Like I said, I have a lot of Choicers in this team. I I really should have been paying more attention when team building this. But um, anyway, I do take down the Jirachi, and he goes into Heat Ran. Sorry, not Heat Ran. He goes into Rotom Heat Form, <coughs> because that thing has Levitate. So I have to switch, because I'm locked into Earthquake. So I go into Heat Ran. Um, as he goes for the Thunderbolt. So now that I know he's locked in the Thunderbolt, I'm going to go back into Flygon, since he resists it. And I'm just going to go for the uh, Outrage, because it's a pretty powerful move, but unfortunately he predicts my Outrage pretty nicely, and goes into Scizor. And that's not good for me, because Outrage isn't going to do a whole lot, and he's probably going to be able to kill me with Bullet Punch, that's, uh, um, Choice Bandit. And he does. So I lose my Flygon, but now I do get the opportunity to go into Gyarados, and I'm thinking he might go into Rotom, so I go for the Waterfall, but instead, um, he, I guess, predicts Waterfall or something, and goes into Vaporeon. And I haven't seen the fourth move on this Vaporeon, I'm thinking part of the reason he's using it is because of Hidden Power Electric. <coughs> I think he might have it. So, um, I go into Latias, kind of predicting the Hidden Power Electric, and he goes to Surf. Um, but I'm still kind of suspecting he has it, he just didn't want to show it off yet. So I go for the Dragon Pulse. Just to see how much damage I do, and I do about half. So he's still going to be able to stall me out with this Wish Protect crap. Um, so yeah, I go into Scizor to um, just go into it. And he goes for the Surf, which is kind of curious. Um, instead of the Protect. But I guess, you know, he would have lived another uh, Draco... Or sorry, uh, Dragon Pulse anyway. But um, I go for the U-Turn. Um, just to get some damage on it. Does a half. I uh, just can't do damage to this Vaporeon with this team. It's pretty ridiculous. And he's such with the wish again, so he's going to protect this turn, which is gay. So what can I really do? Um, I decide to... What did I do? I go for the Draco Meteor. Just because I'm getting frustrated. I just want to do damage. Um, but of course he's going to protect. <coughs> and I was going to go for the Draco Meteor again, obviously. I am Choice Specs. So, yeah, I go for the Draco Meteor. And it actually does quite a lot of damage to Vaporeon.
if I can only just do that when he's like not full health, I mean, that might actually kill him. But um, he goes for the wish again, and he's obviously going to protect again, which is lame. So I decide to switch into Jirachi, and he does try to protect, but it fails. <coughs> so anyway, um, at this point, I'm just going to try to trick him the Choice Scarf. Um, why the heck not? He's going to try to protect here to see what I do. Um, so I go for the trick, and um, it fails because he protected. But um, I'm going to stay in and try it again. Maybe he'll overpredict or something, I'm hoping. But instead he goes into a... Machamp. And I think I'm still faster than Machamp. Machamp's pretty slow. So I go for the Iron Head, and I actually am faster, and I'm hoping I get the flinch, but I don't, which kind of lame. I never seem to be able to get this Ring Grace Hacks uh, with Jirachi. It's like, everyone always gets it against me, but I never get it myself. But oh well. Um, I don't get the flinch, and that's that. And I go into Gyarados to scare away the uh, Machamp. And um, I go for the Dragon Dance. I really don't know what I was thinking, predicting her there, but um, I probably should have either went for the Taunt or the Waterfall, predicting Rotom or Vaporeon. I just don't know. But um, I have to switch now, because I really think this thing is Hidden Power Electric now. And he does try to spring the Hidden Power, and it looks to be electric, so it's a good prediction on my part, and it saved me my Gyarados. So he's going to protect, and I'm just going to try to Draco Meteor. And, um, obviously he protected, so it doesn't do anything. So I go for it again. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be able to kill it, but I'm just getting mad at this point. And he's just going to wish, I think. At least that's what I would do in this situation. Yep. And he's going to do the protection thing again, which is lame. <clears throat> and I think I actually stay in this time, just because I'm getting frustrated. And to maybe wither down some wish and protect PP, but it's really pointless because I think it has 16 when it's PP max, I and mean, he probably has a PP maxed. So I go for the second Draco Meteor, hoping I do a little more than I did, um, but I don't, so that's that. And he goes for the Surf to get some damage. <coughs> I guess maybe even predicting a switch, but um, Surf doesn't do a whole lot to Latias. So I go into Scizor, and he's going to go for the Wish, like a lame person that he is. And, um, I decided to lock myself into U-turn again. He protects, so there's nothing I can do about that. And his wish comes true again, so he's back to full health. What an annoying Pokemon. So he decides to switch out into Gliscor, knowing I have to U-turn, so I end up getting the U-turn on the Gliscor. And, um, I know Gliscor's special defense isn't too great, so I go in a Latias, hoping I can KO it with um, Dragon Pulse. I think at this point I'm out of uh, Draco Meteor PP. <clears throat> so I go for Dragon Pulse, and it does end up killing the Gliscor, which is pretty epic for me. Um, it does drop him the chance to set up Stealth Rocks, or whatever he's planning to do with that Gliscor, I don't know. So I go for the Dragon Pulse against the Machamp, who comes out, and I'm able to kill that too, so Latias is just doing a pretty nice sweeping job right now. He goes into Scizor, and I really don't want to risk getting Bullet Punch, so I go into Gyarados to intimidate it. And um, he does try to go for the Bullet Punch, and that's that. Um, Gyarados is able to get the Intimidate, and now he's locked in a Bullet Punch. So I make the wrong prediction again. I think he's going to go back into Vaporeon, so I go for the Taunt. But instead he goes into Rotom, and I really don't know what he's going to try to lock himself into. Um, I go into Heat Ran just in case it's Shadow Ball, predicting the switch in a Latias. But he makes the uh, good play and goes for the Thunderbolt. And um, I think he's probably going to stay in and try to kill me, so I go for the Explosion. Because if, you know, if I do get another shot, it means he switched. So I end up getting an Explosion on Scizor. I don't know why he switched there. Um... But, for whatever reason, I'm able to take down his Scizor because I explode. So, there you go. But, um, that's pretty good for me because I did want to get rid of that Scizor. Um, and that means now that I can afford getting rid of Gyarados, since the reason I was keeping Gyarados around is to counter Scizor. So I end up getting the Scizor against Rotom matchup, which isn't good, but I really can't afford to switch, so I decide just to go for the Bullet Punch. <clears throat> and it does, um, quite a bit of damage to the Rotom, um... But it probably doesn't really matter, because I probably would have been able to kill him with Dragon Pulse anyway. I don't even know. But anyway, after a Bullet Punch and a Dragon Pulse, the Rotom goes down. So it's just this Vaporeon left. And I have Latias and Gyarados. And um, he goes for the Surf, doesn't quite kill me. And he's going to, as you can see, I'm speeding this up a little more, just because he's going to try to stall me with um, the Wish and um, Protect thing. And to make a long story short... 
Um, it looks like he might actually end up winning this, except I get a crit. So, I mean, crits are lame, but with the, ma the amount of times I actually attack this thing, it's, a, it's about time I got a crit on it. But, um, really, it could have gone either way, obviously. I think I did get the crit of the last possible second, so pretty lucky on my part. Um... I probably would have lost that one if not for the crit, so really great game, uh, Wild Case. Make sure you check him out. He's a good YouTube battler, as you saw right now. Um, not much to say, except this is obviously just a stalling part right here. Um, right here, I think I'm going to get the crit, so look out for that. <clears throat> there, there's the crit. He actually doesn't quite die from it, um, but it does get him low enough so Gyarados can finish off the Vaporeon with Stone Edge. So, rate, comment, subscribe, guys. Good game, and make sure you rate, comment, subscribe him, too. And today's question of the day is, what is your favorite choice item? Mine is probably the uh, choice scarf. But anyway, leave a comment about that.